grind rising. Okay, before I get started, let me tell you about this dream. And I wrote it down. So somewhere near water and boats, me and my person, and I'm single, so I don't know who this person is. I don't know if it's, it's like my guardian angel who just be with me in my dreams or what, okay? Okay, well, me and my person were lost and we were looking for help. But I also was trying to climb a wall so I could get over it. Also, me and him got separated for some reason, okay? And... Like, I was trying to get on the other side, but it was like trees. I had to climb some trees, and I've climbed trees before, so I wasn't scared. It's like I knew how to maneuver around the trees. Like, when I got to a certain spot, I heard a man coming, a non-colored man. I'm going to say it like that. A non-black man came, so I hid, but I didn't sit down and hide. It was dark, so I was standing up, and I was just looking. First, he didn't see me, but then he spotted me. And he said, oh, like, he's like, what you uh, doing out here? And I told him we out here looking for help and work or something like that. And he said, okay, uh, well, let me go get my gun so you can use it. So he so he claimed he was going to give me the gun, right? So my thing, for some reason, I had backpack and stuff on when I climbed the tree. But when I heard somebody coming, I took it off inside of a house. And obviously it was a non-colored woman house because while I was waiting on him, I heard a lady say, what are you doing here? And he's like, well, Kenyatta is, Kenyatta is here and she said she's looking for work. And this lady said, go get her and bring her here. And she didn't say it in no nice way. So I knew they were going to do something to my ass. So, and it's funny for him to say my name in my dream, but... Cause I never had nobody say my name in my dream. But he said, can y'all just look for work? And she said, you know, find her and bring her to me. So when she said that, I started gathering up my backpack. Now these are the same backpacks I take out with me every day when I leave the house. Um, so I took my backwood backpack, my Puma backpack, and my also my Harley Quinn piggy bank. It was also in a dream. So I grabbed all that stuff and I ran out the screen door and I started running. Okay, now, remind, mind you, me and my person, whoever this person is, we still separated. So while I'm running, I'm yelling for help. But it's like when I'm yelling, I'm only yelling loud enough to where you only hear me if you like within, what, 30 to 40 feet. Like my range wasn't my range wasn't ranging. I couldn't it wasn't going far enough. But when people did see me, they would drive away like they knew something bad was gonna happen. Okay. So while I'm running, I see a black figure before like before I see these people in these cars drive away, I see a black figure while I after I first left the house and started running, I see a black figure like run through some hallways, like in some apartments while I'm running forward. This this black figure is running back. Like to where I came from, but it's running fast. It ain't this ain't like human speed. Now this is like doo doo <laughs> like that. Okay. So when they did that, I I was like, maybe that's my person. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I'm running. Okay. So the man is like, Do you see anybody, Kenyatta? He said, do you see anybody? Is it, he's like, like, he's like, do you see it? Like, basically he asked me, do you see anybody who's going to help you? Like, you ain't got no help out here. Okay. And let me tell you something. I don't know where I'm, this is how I'm feeling when I was. I feel like we was in Florida. We was by bo boats and water, marine life. We by a dock. Like, when the, the trees I was climbing, they had moss, moss on them. Like, I felt like I was in Florida. So... Also, but 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 it ain't over with yet the story. But I'm just telling you what I felt like I was like. That's what came to my head when I'm like, this ain't Louisiana and not it, it it this felt like Florida. Okay, so I see also see two kids while I'm running, but they don't pay me no attention. They walking, they walking, they not paying me no attention. <sighs> so the black figure I saw running past. See, okay, 
The, okay, yeah, the black chick I seen that uh, that running pad running through the hallways as the the man was chasing me. Uh, it seemed like the black figure uh injured. I'm gonna say it like that injured the man. And like I said, we was near boats, and I woke up like after he injured the man, I I woke up because the man was trying to unlive me. Or finna kidnap me, take me back to up up in that house and you know, whatever they was gonna do. But the the figure that was running through the highways at full speed and ran back to where I, I had left from, obviously the spirit or whoever my person that was looking for me, they came and injured the man and I woke up. Now I don't know if this is something that's going on somewhere else or if it happened. I don't know if people actually chasing somebody. I don't know what's going on. But yeah, that was the dream. So bless this reading. So I can read these cards accurately and precisely channel the messages through me, speak through me. God protect anybody who watches me. Also protect me from any entities, demons, any negative energy that's sent towards us, sending back to your times fall. Alright. Thank you for all your shares and subscribes and views that are greatly appreciated. I'm telling you, a tower is coming down somewhere and a new beginning is being created. So I don't know what, what that was, but mm -mm. yeah, somebody moving to calmer water. I'm working real hard too. Could be somebody who is very toxic. Hmm. A lot of fighting going on in the background. Okay, Holy Spirit. Bless this reading. Bless us. Keep us and protect us. Queen of Swords could be going to could be on her way to victory, baby. Okay. Also, if you want a personal reading, you can email me. And it's in my uh, description box. Any donations you want to send. If you want to send me some cards that you want me to use, you can also email me. Anything like that. If you want to cash at me, it's also in the description box. Cause I did ask in my community, like, what kind of cards would y'all like for me to use? Or what kind of cards do y'all like? And no one has responded. And I'm waiting on communication. So, someone also going to get a, uh, someone is transforming very fast also. Hey, and that's the truth. Hey, someone is transforming very fast. I don't know if it's me or it's you, Collector. But somebody is transforming. Hey, they transforming for the better, baby. Yes, the death card. Yes, they are transforming for the better. With the ace of swords. Because we saw the best in me. But everyone else around me could only see the worst in me. That man sneaky and deceptive towards a star angel. Now, someone could be leaving. They could be leaving. So they can heal. Let me change it. I feel like someone could be leaving because they want to heal. Someone is trying to be. <clears throat> okay, I got the King of Pentacles. Now, this all came right in reverse. Got the King of Pentacles in reverse. Judgment is in reverse. The Hierophant is in reverse. Ooh. The Page of Swords is in reverse. Okay, so.
someone lying like they healed. Okay, this year, get it right now. Get it right. Someone's lying like they healed. And they choosing money over everything. Like they've been like they they making misjudged calculations. Lack of spiritual life. They care too much about what others think. It's hard for them, verse. Now, with this hard for them, verse, someone, someone wants to be an individual, non traditional education. Okay, this is for people who don't want to be of the norm, who don't want to follow the regular rules of society. Okay? Everything coming out in reverse. Somebody is sick. Someone needs to avoid greater harm. Okay, I feel this is what I'm getting. Okay. Whoo! This is negative as hell. Okay. Someone that you all are dealing with doesn't want you to change or be the individual person that you are. They want you to be the society norm. They want you to follow society rules. They don't want you to think for yourself. They don't want to accept the feet that you are changing. They don't want to accept that you are healed and that you're not materialistic like they is. They're not, they want, they don't want you to heal because they're still judgmental and lack spiritual life. They want you to be stuck and bound and in your mind. But this is them. They're mentally in prison. They're captive. They're feeling bound or stuck, constrained, powerless. And that's what it is. And they're in regret. Hey, and the ace of swords is here because I'm telling the truth, baby. Somebody don't want to accept you, accept your change for what it is. Because they got secrets. And they know that you're going to fall out, baby. But they know you're going to fall out and you, they not fall out. Yeah, you're going to fall out from the shit that you're going to heal. But also that you're going to keep back, keep your energy. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, guess what? Because you're moving forward, baby. You are balancing your, your male and female side of you. You're balancing that. Got Cancer, Pisces, Aquarius, Libra, Scorpio. Got Leo. That's Scorpio, Virgo. Sorry. Leo. Capricorn. Oh, we do got Scorpio. I was right. Okay. Thank you for clarifying this spirit. You're moving on and moving on fast. <clears throat> you done cut them off. Because it ain't nothing to cut that bitch off. Ooh. It ain't that nothing that bitch off and move on from things that don't serve you. Hmm. Cause you wanna celebrate good times. Come on. Celebrate good times. Come on. And that's sad that people don't want to see you change like because you different, especially if you know. You different. Like, I grew up as a child knowing I was different. I knew that shit that we were taught in school, it didn't mean us no. It wasn't going to help us in the long run. And I saw they weren't teaching this shit. That shit was born to me. And I didn't, I didn't, like, I, I dropped, basically, I didn't go to school, but I got my GED. And when I got my GED, it was a two-day class, and I took it in one day and passed it. I got my GED when I was 19. Skip the computer test. You're supposed to take a computer test before you even take your GED. I told him, I said, I'm ready. I only, I only like, okay, let's say they make you take a test and whatever you don't do good in, they, they make you like relearn that 
but go back over that and then you're supposed to get on the computer and then you're supposed to take the GED test. Okay, this is what happened. Okay, yeah, I was doing like, what is my math? It's like the fractions part. That's really what I had a trouble with. Okay, that part. So I had to go back to uh, G. They had to put you in class and you had to learn. So I only stayed in class for two months. I stayed in class for two months. I didn't take the computer. I didn't even finish class. Like, I didn't finish class. I told him, I said, I'm ready to take my test. He said, you sure? I said, yeah, I'm ready. I said, I don't even want to do the computer. I took that two-day test. You could stay there all day and take the whole test if you want to, or you could take it in two days, two days, separated in two days. I took that test in one day and passed it. Hmm. Earth angel, energy. Okay. Because I'm brave, warrior, fearless, ambition, and you all are too. And just because somebody don't want to accept you for who you is, that's on them, baby. I know I'm different. I grew, I knew I was different. I knew I wasn't from of this world. I know I'm just back here again because I messed up last time. But guess what? I'm going to get it right this time. I don't want to come back here. I promise I don't. Hey, I'm turning my back. And you all should too because you're an empress energy. You causing towers to fall in people's lives because of all that love that you was giving that you're taking back. Now you guard it. Hey, but they working on trying to come back in your energy. But you planning for your future. Because you need this ten of cups, baby. Okay? Got that new love coming. God going to make your cup overflow. And you putting cycles to an end. Hm. All right now. But come on, let's get to the... What's the message? What's the message, baby? What's the message? What other messages do we got? I'm glad I feel so much better. Could be out here celebrating. Some of you could be going to parties. What's this third cup? Clarify this third cup, spirit, please. Clarify this third cup, please. It could be a celebration coming, but you don't see it. Or you could be undecided about going to it. Could be from people you walked away from also. You could be blocking out celebrations because you're juggling a lot. Also, there could be misunderstandings with these celebrations or with the people in these celebrations. I'm saying like that. And at the bottom of the day, we have the food. So it seems like you're moving in a different direction. Tell me more. Yeah, it could be because you know, like, it ain't going to go well. Hm. Yep, that's what it is. And you're trying to balance things out in your own life. You could be an earth angel. You could be very intuitive. <laughs> we got new opportunities to come with the Ace of Wands, baby. Now, this is all coming up upright, okay? So, this is a whole different energy. Whoever that was before, that's not us. That's a person who, 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 what, what I was just saying. He saw the best in me. Hey, that's why they came out. When everyone else around me could only see the worst in me. Okay? And you blocking that crap out. What else? What's this ice of wands and this temper? Tell me more, please. And thank you. We made it to see another day. When others didn't. Got the ace of swords. And that's the truth. Upside down. Should I take it upside down? Yeah. Okay, for some of you, you could have went through traumatic experiences, had bad memories. And you see the truth about that. That's another reason why people don't want you to change. 
They don't want you to be different because you're starting to see that they backstabbed you. I knew, I knew it. They don't want you to see the truth about your childhood, about everything they've been doing to you since you have been a child. Hmm. That they've been working on this, but a light has been shined on it. Like, they've been working on this with this three of cups and three of pentacles. Some people have been working against you. Could be a father figure, someone who you look up to as a father figure. Could be an authority figure. Could be a, a leader, a manager. Or could be, take it how it resonates. Also, gen, uh, tarot is gender fluid. Could be male, female. Take what resonates, leave the rest. Take it, flip it. Take away, put in whatever you need to do to fit into your story. If it's not for you, it could be for somebody else also. But this emperor, whoever you, you look to as a leader, whoever provided you support in your life, this could be a female who's operating in emperor energy. Yeah. They, 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 they tried to, you know, they, they did some work and it's being recognized that they worked against you also, but guess what? It's a missed opportunity. It's not going to happen. And they're in regret because guess what? All your wishes are coming true. You have enjoyment. They're still trying to hold on to you and be stuck though. They could be trying to use your past against you. Anything that's your oh shit. Okay, now I know what it is. You know why this devil out here? Because we got this goddamn cup out here. Who wants to come in with the little weak ass pen? Acting like they kind. And they're going to be there for you. Whoever this couple is. They tied together. They are tied together. They are binded together. Okay? Got Capricorn. Virgo. Who? You got Cancer out here. Libra. A lot of Capricorn, Libra, Cancer, Sagittarius, Taurus, okay. We got Pisces, Scorpio, Virgo, Aries, a lot of Capricorn, Gemini, Cancer. Someone needs to see things from a different perspective. Okay, we got King of Cups. That's someone who is emotional. That could be you, though. You're calling justice because there have been some secrets unbeknownst to you that you don't know about. You don't know about these secrets. But it's okay. Because everything is going to be revealed. Everything will be revealed. Yo, we got the moon card, and, and, and you call it the towers, baby. But God's gonna give you a real pinnacle. Not what that king and queen was trying to get, because that's bullshit. God's gonna give you a real pinnacle, and you're gonna boss up and be an empress style. You could be pregnant, you could be pregnant with an ideal. You also could have just had a baby. But they're gonna be stuck and bound in their mind. This couple. It's going to be stuck and bound in their mind. And you're going to be able to speak the truth and be strong in it. You're going to expose them and have complete happiness. You're a very passionate person. You could get a message from a king, a knight of wands. 
who said he want to start a family with you as the queen of wands because he sees, sees you as the star. He knows that he backstabbed you and, it, and it's very burdened on him. And you know this because you're coming out as the high priestess. There's a lot of conflict in the background, but I don't think he wants no part of that, baby. You don't want no part of that. Mm -mm. Just remember, whatever you do, do what's best for you. Not for what's best for anyone else. Especially if they backstabbed you in the back. Plenty of times. Mm -mm. Don't do it. Don't worry about it. We all get our karma. Okay. Where we at? Okay, I think we might have to end it, baby. Oh, at 25? Okay. See, double texting me right now. Ain't that something for him? Tell me for him, devil. No, boy. Mm. Mm -mm. Yeah, someone who thinks I'm beautiful and shit, he don't want me to talk shit to him. I'm good. I've been deleting contacts, deleting names, deleting conversations, even with family. You are getting deleted. Cause it ain't letting that cut that off. Hey. Sometimes you got to stand on what you say. You got to say that to mean it. And God will throw out a test. He'll be like, oh, so you, you say you done with that, huh? You say you done with that person. You done with, with those drugs that you were doing. You done smoking, huh? Let's see. Let's see if you actually done. Got to stay strong. Got to block that shit out, baby. You got to block that shit out. I'm telling you. Some of y'all could have a connection coming, but it might not be coming right now. Because it didn't even come out in the reading. This seemed like we have some people who are who are very negative about the change that we're making in our lives. Or the change you're making in your life. Because we're all connected. We are all connected. But continue to be strong and do you. And everything going to work out. Because guess what? Because he saw the best in me. When everyone else around me could only see the worst in me. Oh, I need. All I need is one. Yeah, he saw the best in me. So I hope this helps you all. If it doesn't help you, I hope you can share it with somebody. It can help them. By seeing you all nothing but blessings and good energy. Hey, put God first and everything going to work out fine.